March 26th, St. Ludger, Bishop of Munster. St. Ludger was born in Friesland around the year 743. His father was a nobleman who committed Ludger to the care of St. Gregory, St. Boniface's disciple. Ludger was educated in the See of Utrecht in St. Gregory's Monastery and received the clerical tonsure. Desiring further sanctity, he responded to the Holy Ghost in her promptings with prayer. For God, Ludger spent four and a half years training with Alquinson in England at a school in York. In the year 773, Ludger returned to Friesland. When St. Gregory passed away in 776, Alberic convinced Ludger to receive the holy orders of priesthood. After ordination, Father Ludger preached the gospel in Friesland, where he converted great numbers, founded several monasteries, and built several churches. When the pagan Saxons ravaged the country, Father Luger traveled to Rome to consult Pope Adrian II as to what he should do and what God required of him. He then retired for three and a half years to Monte Cassino, where he donned the habit of the order and conformed to the practice of the rule. In the year 787, Charlemagne overcame the Saxons and conquered Friesland and the coast of the Germanic Ocean as far as Denmark. Father Ludger, hearing this, returned into East Friesland, where he converted the Saxons to the faith. He also did so in the province of Westphalia. Father Ludger founded the monastery of Verden, 29 miles from Cologne. In 802, Hildebald, the Archbishop of Cologne, consecrated Father Ludger to the Bishopric of Munster. Bishop Ludger afterwards appointed five cantons from Friesland and founded the monastery of Helmstad in the Duchy of Brunswick. A charge was brought against Bishop Ludger that he was wasting the church's donations. When Emperor Charlemagne summoned him to court, he told the officer who came to his cell to have him appear before Charlemagne that he would so after prayer. By the time Bishop Ludger finished his prayer, Emperor Charlemagne grew emotional and said, Why did you make me wait so long? Bishop Ludger replied that his respect for his majesty was profound. But God was infinitely above him. While we are occupied with him, it is our duty to forget everything else. This answer, and the account Bishop Ludger gave of himself, made the emperor dismiss all the charges and send him off with honor at the disgrace of his accusers. St. Ludger was favored with the gift of miracles and prophecy. His last sickness, though painful, did not hinder his daily activities. Up to the last day of his life, Passion Sunday, Bishop Ludger preached very early in the morning, said Mass toward nine, and preached again before night. He passed away on March 26th, midnight, at the hour he foretold.